Odessa, Ukraine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from Odessa, Ukraine. I have just about recovered from our sleeper train from Lviv to Odessa. Seriously, I'm too tall. If you're over six foot, you're not going to sleep, which is lucky because I've had the best night's sleep day and night's sleep here at the Royal Street Hotel. We are actually staying on Derry Basov Sky Street, which is like the main street here of Odessa, and it just seems so different. It really does seem completely different. It looks, the buildings look very French, very Italian. I don't think they actually are, but maybe they were built in that sort of style. And it's it's a very different city. Being that it's a port city, uh, it's the holiday city, it's the beach city, but it's still the third most populated in all of Ukraine, which was really, really surprising to me that the third biggest city actually used to be a like Soviet naval base. It has the biggest ports in all of Ukraine just here. But the third biggest. I'm excited to explore. There's going to be some beaches, great architecture. And it is so much hotter than Lviv. In Lviv, it was like six degrees and we're back to around 20. Not quite beach weather. Hopefully we'll get to the beach in a couple of days. But I've already found just down there my perfect coffee. He is my go-to coffee man. I'm not sure even the name of the coffee. Oh my God, that wind. A great place to get your morning coffee and we can get out and explore this very unique beach city. Our hotel just there, the Royal Street Hotel, is actually located on Derry Basovskaya Street, my best Ukrainian pronunciation, and that is the main street here in Odessa. Um, it's basically just full of bars, restaurants, and um, there's even this tiny little market right outside our hotel, which actually has everything you could ever want, even currency exchange. Um, but obviously you walk through the cobbled streets and this road just basically, you just follow it all the way down and you can pick and choose wherever you want to go. When I knew we were coming to Odessa, I don't know why, but I didn't, I've said it before, I didn't expect it to be such a big, vast city. And when I heard there was the beach, I presumed that the beach would be next to the city, but the beach is actually like two and a half kilometers from here. I think you've got the port that's closest to the city. But this is nice, it's the beating heart. It's not it's so busy. It's definitely a port it now, city, like, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. It's like midday, it's not so busy right now, but it's the beating heart of the city. And it's actually named after one of the founders of Odessa. But I mean, this time of day, it's really not the best. I think it's better at night. I know, I said it before. Oh my God, let's see if I can get across this road. Thank you. Um, but I did not expect Odessa to look like this at all. The architecture, very French, Italian, Spanish, Art Nouveau, I think is the word. Um, I've checked, I've sort of checked online to see like a lot of the buildings obviously are like 19th century, but I don't think they're built or made by anyone that's French, Italian, Spanish. I might be wrong, but they've done it really, really well. Like. It's an impressive city, all these beautiful green streets. It's just not what I expected. I just expected a big city with a beach for holidays, but the city isn't even where the beach is. You've got like your separate city for the architecture, bars, restaurants, history, and then you can go a couple of kilometers away and then you find a beach where you can chill out, have a beer and relax. But we are walking off the main streets now towards, towards, does that make sense? Towards the main, Theatre. The main sight really to see in the city of Odessa is the theatre and I think we're going to have to actually attempt to go to the theatre. It is so not us theatre. I don't know <laughs> if two beer drinking Brits can be inside a fancy theatre but we're going to try and give it a go. I'm slightly obsessed with how the theatre looks. Like look at how beautiful it is. It is the biggest probably the biggest building in Odessa with this sort of architecture. And Reminds me of like a coliseum, yeah, the way it's circular. It's circular, it's rounded, and it's not what you expect in Ukraine. I think Ukraine has a history and people don't expect beautiful architecture like this. You think of Soviet architecture when really, look at this. It is certainly impressive. It was actually originally built in the early 1800s, but then was destroyed by a fire. So the structure behind me, the Baroque architectural theatre was actually built in 1887. And it's definitely the place for everyone to come. It's very busy here. You've got these like, 
we go on them? Do you want to go on them? <laughs> no, I definitely don't. They've got these like sea tour buses that take you to the spots of Odessa. They've got the fountain. But it's, yeah, I think it's the tenth wonder of Ukraine. So you can see why a lot of locals and tourists come to see it. But we need to try and get tickets. I don't know. It's like a museum. With yeah. museums, we like to look at the outside. Very nice building, but don't go inside. Do we? I don't, we've got to try it. We Apparently, should really try. You can get like as good of theatre, I don't know what theatre performance is like, as like Milan. Is there, even, is, there, is there even a theatre in Milan? Supposedly it's actually not just opera, it's obviously a ballet house, ballet theatre too. Look, we're not very cultured. Realistically we have to get a ticket because apparently it's like really good high value. level theatre, which you can get in London, Paris, I presume, but for like a tenth of the price. And it's actually someone's birthday in a few days so what better than to get theatre for a tenth of the price yeah you'd love that i will that's why we're going in you wouldn't be go we wouldn't be going if not nothing is in english thank you we have our tickets i have no idea what we are watching but we managed to get tickets for in a few days time on my birthday which is amazing um i don't know where we sat I have no idea where we sat. Do you know I that was only like $5 each? So what was it? 200, uh, it says 130 each. So three, six, nine, twelve. Four, four, five pounds, five dollars each. Dollars. That's amazing. And I don't know what we're watching. Don Quignon. Don Quignon. <laughs> we'll put whatever we watched in now so you'll see how we got on. to the theatre. We have come into Mozart Hotel and Restaurant because look, look at the view. We can literally, we can do both now. We can be posh at the theatre in a few days. We can also sit outside, admire the architecture of the theatre while drinking a beer. But it's actually kind of a, a weird spot. It's a beautiful little courtyard. But next to us, opposite the theatre, there seems to be like an old war memorial, but it actually has the hammer and sickle. So unusual, which isn't is it? Really, Especially, yeah, yeah, like the old Soviet sign which is really strange because there was decommunization here in ukraine in a lot of places a lot of like lenin statues were pulled down so the fact that that is here opposite the theater it's a real contrast we couldn't find found, any history on I it i found though. it really surprising Opera and Ballet Theatre is Potemkin stairs. You can see them behind me. There are a hell of a lot of stairs. I'm not going to bother counting them, but they were built back in the 1800s. It's basically the main stair gate to the city from the harbour. We're walking down. We are not going to walk back up because if you've watched our videos before, you know that I absolutely hate taking stairs up places. So I'm going down them and then I believe you can get the funicular back up. I don't know what it is with Ukrainian funiculars. There's one in Kiev and we had that one in Podil and now we have one in Odessa. But I mean you get amazing views of the port and the harbour from the top of the stairs. I'm just not feeling walking back up them. There are actually, I've checked, 192 steps <laughs> in total. I'm not going to bother counting and apparently at the bottom, I can't really see it from here, maybe when we look up, they've made it wider and then thinner at the top to make it look longer than it actually is. So you can just imagine when people were arriving at the port, which is actually the ports around Odessa are the biggest ports in all of Ukraine, sort of makes sense. And it used to be one of the most important USSR, like Navy bases here. So you can just imagine when they came in from whatever they were out doing in the Navy, they would come here and they would enter the city. I don't know if they took the funicular back up though. 191. 192 now there is no way I don't even think I can count that far but um, once you get to the bottom you do have like the pool this side but there's not really much going on there there's not like restaurants or anything like that so realistically you walk down to get the funicular so I'm not walking back up 192 steps you're gonna walk down get the funicular back up to get back into the city because down here isn't where the beach is so they're the entrance to the city but they're sort of like the stairway down to nowhere if you're down to go up it's good but if you're up to go down it's kind of pointless
We literally just walked into the big sign that said funicular. We tapped our card, we got our ticket. Thought it was a lift. Thought it was a lift, and we found out that this is the funicular, and we're the only ones on it. Oh, this oh is my good. god! Look at this! Thank and you. And we're going. Thank and we're you. off. We're off on our own up to the back to the top. I think we actually might have won the race if we walked up the stairs, but you've got to try this out. Apparently the one here on Odessa always competes with the funicular we've actually got in Kiev. Um, and I think I like this one. It's smaller, it looks older, I don't know if it is. You get sea view. Sea view and you get it to yourself. You can just jump on and they take you up. And that was it, we're up, the little little babushka. <laughs> <laughs> she, so cute. she came up with us. It was only what five? Five yeah, each? Five. So cheap. I can't even yeah. figure out what five Ukrainian is in. <laughs> Someone's selling something. Five Ukrainian, actually, so yeah. 30 is a pound. 30 is a pound. Is 10p. No, no, no. If 30 is a pound, 10 won't be 10p. 10 oh, will 30. be like 33p. Oh, yeah. So let's say it's about 15 English pence to go up the funicular. Amazing. Which, with the babushka, which made it. Love it, it's called Kumanets. We've come into it, probably the most traditional restaurant here in Odessa. I would say it's a touristy tourist traditional. traditional. It's different. Yes, I'd definitely say it's a tourist traditional. Like you get these little placemats which are questionable. What if it means like farm or something? <laughs> they're all dressed up, it's got like the village feel. They all have the flowers, which is so beautiful. Um, but obviously, we have gone for traditional Ukrainian food. We have two lots of dumplings, we have potato pancakes on the way, um, obviously, served with sour cream. And we're sat outside. This, the weather's come out for us today, and we're in the most touristy traditional restaurant here. Considering when you type in like traditional restaurant in Odessa, this comes up. It comes up in like the top five, top ten restaurants in general. But in terms of traditional, this comes up. I'd probably say try and head off the main streets and find like a tri like a local traditional restaurant. Yeah, this definitely. is definitely more for tourists, and you notice it. I think I don't know they're too happy being dressed up in the no. traditional clothes because they are not the happiest in it. This looks so good. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with these dumplings and caramelized onions on top of the sour cream. We can't cream. stop having Veroneki. Yeah, Veroneki, they're the best. Um, but I think all of this is going to come to around 10, 11 English pounds, which I think is actually really good. You've got two mains, you've got a side dish and two bits. You can't for, complain. For like a touristy... Traditional restaurant. Oh, touristy traditional. Now all we got to do is try it in the hope that... Oh, do you see how hot that is? You can't really go wrong. I don't think you could make this badly. <coughs> you can if you burn your mouth. <laughs> they are very good. Very good dumplings. Not the best service. Decent enough food, you know, like traditional food, but touristy, it's always going to be like okay, but incredible prices for the location being in the center of Odessa. But we've got a quick taxi. As you can see behind me is the port and about a two and a half, I'd say two and a half kilometer, two mile taxi journey, something like that. We have made it to Langeron, which is Langeron Beach, which is like the city beach. We've got all like the big hotels behind us and you're actually so close to the port. I'm not sure I'd like to swim in it. Um, I think the beach is a little bit further up, so it just shows you that obviously in Odessa city you're not going to have the beach because you have the port. Um, so you've got to go a couple of kilometres out. We've come here just to check it out. The sun is not set in. We've got no sun. We've, we've literally lost the sun this evening, but we're going to walk along, maybe grab some dinner here, uh, check out the beach. We're getting a sunset. We are. Sort of. And ever so slight sunset you know when all the clouds start to go a little bit pink and break it's actually very nice i'm pleasantly surprised i never think can you see that jellyfish that oh my god <laughs> anyway i was saying i'm i'm pleasantly surprised you know being next to a port you don't expect anything the water's too, clear. Too it's nice. yeah the water's clear it's so clear in fact that you can see these gigantic jellyfish and obviously you've got the nice bars and restaurants along here shame we didn't get the sunny weather that we had this morning but port side not so keen on swimming. Beach side, look at this, and there's no. That is pretty blue considering is there is no blue. sun out. But I think in a couple of days' time, we're gonna head all the way. I think it's there where we're gonna head. All the way around the coastline. This is such a long coastline. This is like the built up area. I think if you want pristine beaches, you wanna yeah. head out of the built up area. A long way. 
What I've actually liked a lot here about Odessa, being that it is the third most populated city in Ukraine, is that everything stays open. So it's like the end of September now, but in other countries where we've been in the past, like Albania, Bulgaria, nothing is open. But here, everything is open. And we've found like a beautiful seafront restaurant. Early birthday celebrations, I think. What do you think, Molly? Early birthday celebrations? I don't mind if you're okay. Molly said it's her birthday week, but technically her birthday isn't even this week. We can call it a two week birthday. Oh my God, can you see that behind me? How cute is this place? Matt actually researched prior, um, so he knew that this place was lovely. I didn't expect it to be this nice. So it's a proper nice pre-week or two-week birthday tree. We do have a sea view, but the sun is starting to set now. All I'm loving is those chandeliers. Um, and it's gonna be expensive. Do I think it's gonna be expensive? Mm, I don't know. I'm dreading to look at the menu first, but, and it's probably all gonna be fish, but, we're here for the for the semi sea view. Something without fish. Let's let's hope. So fancy. We just finished our meal at the terrace sea view, which is just here. It was really really nice actually. We got the hummus to start, and then we got two avocado and spinach pastas, which were really nice. I didn't think Matt was going to like them because when they came out, they were green, um, and I was like, oh no, he's not going to like them. But he did, which was good. But what an amazing day! Can you believe we have spent our first full day here in Odessa? Um, I'm looking forward to going back to my bed at the Royal Street Hotel so I can get some sleep. Um, but we managed to explore, we had great weather, and then we managed to pick up opera tickets. Um, you would have already seen how it went, so I'm sure we enjoyed it. Um, I'm really looking forward to it actually, and obviously it is my birthday in a few days. I don't know what it is, people love to play music just when I'm trying to end a video. Um, but yes, it is my birthday in a few days or a week or so, and I'm uh, probably gonna go out for a nice meal. I'm sure you'll see whatever we get out to on that day um, but we're looking forward to exploring more of Odessa and we do have a few more days here um, before we move on so we will see you in the next one I'm stuffed now and it's a bit cold and windy so I want to go back to bed